By now, you've probably already heard what RFK Jr. wants to do. He's proposing bans on a bunch of food additives. And as the metabolic health doc, I've got questions, but not political ones, metabolic ones. Today, we'll break down every item on his list, from neon dyes to rocket fuel in your cereal. And I'll share what it does to your metabolism, what foods it hides in, better alternatives, and one shocking fact you probably didn't know. Before we get started, I have a quick challenge for you. Comment below, what was the last ultra processed food you ate? And be honest, this is a no judgment zone, just awareness. All right, let's dive in. Let's start with what I call the six big chemical culprits. Number one, red dye number three and synthetic food dyes in general, common in things like candy, soda, cereal, and even children's cough syrup. Not our baby's cough syrup. Alternatives, beet juice, turmeric, and paprika extract. The metabolic impact. These dyes disrupt the gut microbiome, impair mitochondrial ATP production, and have been linked to hyperactivity and insulin resistance in children. They create metabolic chaos in the most vulnerable populations, our kids. Lesser known fact, some food dyes are literally derived from coal tar and petroleum. Share in the comments the food dye color that you'd miss if it was banned the most and why. Number two, potassium bromate. Common in packaged bread, pizza crust, and fast food buns. Alternatives, ascorbic acid and enzymatic conditioners. Metabolic impact. This additive promotes oxidative stress, suppresses thyroid hormone production, and may impair insulin receptor function. That means slower metabolism and poor blood sugar control. Lesser known fact, it's banned in the EU UK and Canada, but of course not banned in the US. So knowing what you know now, would you eat that bun if it had a cancer warning label? Drop your thoughts in the comments, especially if you're now rethinking your sandwich. Number three, polypropyl paraben. Common in pastries, tortillas, packaged snacks, and even some beverages. Alternative, vitamin E and rosemary extract. Metabolic impact. It acts like synthetic estrogen, leading to disruption of fat storage, appetite regulation, and insulin sensitivity. Over time, it can lead to estrogen dominance and stubborn weight gain. Lesser known fact, traces of this chemical have been found in breast tumors, even in men. I got another question for you. This one for fun. What's the oldest food item in your pantry? Check the labels and report back in the comments. Number four, brominated vegetable oil, abbreviated BVO. Common in citrus flavored sodas like Mountain Dew and some energy drinks. Alternative, glycerol esters and plant-based stabilizers. Metabolic impact, BVO accumulates in fat tissue and interferes with thyroid hormone conversion, leading to decreased metabolic rate and energy expenditure. It's like putting your metabolism in slow motion. And here's another lesser known fact you won't believe. It was originally used as a flame retardant. So do me a favor, put a fire symbol in the comments if you're officially done having a flame retardant in your food. Number five, titanium dioxide. Common in frostings, powdered donuts, chewing gum, and creamers. Alternative, rice starch or calcium carbonate. Metabolic impact linked to increased gut permeability which allows endotoxins into your bloodstream triggering inflammation insulin resistance and autoimmune flares lesser known fact it's banned in the EU because of concerns over nanoparticle absorption in the gut. I want you to pause and think for a second. Have you ever felt bloated after donuts or gum? It might not be the sugar. Number six, perchlorate. Common in food packaging, especially in dry goods like cereal. Alternative, non-chlorinated packaging technologies. Metabolic impact. This chemical inhibits iodine uptake in the thyroid, directly suppressing your basal metabolic rate. It can lead to hypothyroid symptoms like fatigue, weight gain, and cold intolerance. Here's another lesser known fact that literally blew my mind. Its key ingredient is rocket fuel. That's right, rocket fuel. And it's in your cereal box. So my advice, if your cereal box doubles as something that makes rocket fuel, maybe don't eat what's inside. And that made me wonder what's worse, cereal boxes made of rocket fuel or the ultra 
processed food that's within the box. You decide. Now let's talk about some potentially banned items that could cause endocrine disruption and metabolic mayhem. Number seven, phthalates. Common in food containers, takeout packaging, and final gloves. Alternative, BPA and phthalate free packaging, glass, and parchment paper. Metabolic impact, phthalates lower testosterone, alter insulin receptor sensitivity, and promote visceral fat gain. Even worse, they're endocrine disruptors that can reprogram metabolism before birth. Here's another lesser known fact. 95% of Americans tested by the CDC have measurable levels in their bodies. Have you ever microwaved leftovers in plastic? Drop a comment if you're switching to glass today. Number eight, sodium benzoate. Common in juice drinks, sodas, and salad dressings. Alternative, potassium sorbate and clean refrigeration. Metabolic impact combines with vitamin C to form benzene, a carcinogen. It also damages mitochondria, reducing your ability to burn fat efficiently. Lesser known fact, some sodas contain enough sodium benzoate to exceed FDA benzene limits under heat or light. Let's take a quick poll. Who drinks soda regularly? Type soda or switch in the comments. Number nine, seed oils like canola, soybean, and corn. Common in fried food, dressings, mail, packaged snacks. Alternative, I use the mnemonic VOCA, which stands for butter, olive oil, coconut oil, and avocado oils. Metabolic impact. These oils are high in omega-6 linoleic acid, which in excess disrupts cellular metabolism, increases fat storage, and oxidizes LDL, setting you up for insulin resistance and chronic disease. Lesser known fact, seed oils were originally manufactured as industrial lubricants, not food. So do me a favor, when you're done with the video, see if you have any seed oils still in your cabinets. Share in the comments which ones. Or type BOCA, B-O-C-A, in the comments if you've already upgraded. Number 10, ultra-processed foods in school. Common in pizza sticks, nuggets, box lunches, and yes, even flavored milks. Alternative, real food lunches with meat, eggs, and fresh produce. Metabolic impact. These foods spike blood sugar, alter reward pathways in the brain, and promote insulin resistance. They program metabolic disease before puberty. Lesser known fact, 60 percent of calories consumed by American children come from ultra processed foods. 60%. And to my parents, what's in your kid's lunchbox that you're now feeling a little guilty about? For me and my wife, we remember our kids always having juice boxes everywhere they went. Now we know better. Drop a comment if it's time for a healthy upgrade. And number 11, snap junk food restrictions. This is all about restrictions on using benefits to buy things like soda, candy, chips, and ultra-processed snacks. Alternative, incentivize nutrient-dense options like meat, eggs, and of course, non-starchy vegetables. Metabolic impact. These foods fuel the obesity epidemic in low-income communities. They hijack satiety signals, spike glucose, and create a cycle of food addiction and chronic disease. Lesser known fact. In pilot studies, restricting soda purchases on SNAP led to measurable reductions in obesity markers. Now, I know this one can be a little controversial, but I'm curious what you think. Should we support smarter SNAP options? And type yes if you'd vote for that. So here's the deal. Even if these bans never pass, the science is crystal clear. These additives hijack your metabolism. They inflame your gut, poison your mitochondria, and scramble your hormones. I'm not here to scare you, but I am here to prepare you. As the metabolic health doc, I want to help you fight smarter. Read your labels, cook more meals, replace fear with food that heals, and smash that like button if this helped open your eyes. Drop a comment with the ingredient that shocked you the most, and subscribe if you want more metabolic truth bombs. And be sure to check the playlist in the video description. Your next step towards real health is one click away. Thank you for coming to my channel, and I'll see you in the next video.